In this beginner plasticity tutorial you will learn how you can create this amazing sci-fi crate concept completely from scratch and you will learn how you can practice the most essential and fundamental modeling tools in plasticity by recreating a concept design from other artists. So you learn to get confident in modeling and use these skills for your own projects. And if you want to learn more about sci-fi modeling in plasticity, I just launched my brand new amazing course for beginners where you will learn how to create an incredible sci-fi environment from scratch. And in this course, you will master essential 3D modeling tools, craft unique sci-fi concepts and develop skills to create any sci-fi project quickly and efficiently. And with my step-by-step -step approach and fully narrated lessons, you will gain the confidence to tackle complex projects and unleash your creativity. So enroll today and start your journey into the amazing world of plasticity 3D modeling. Check out first link below this video. And for now, let's dive in into this tutorial. All right, so let's have some fun. And we will go first in the top view and we will create a corner rectangle and press C. So you go in all direction with the same distance. So yeah, let's just create a rectangle. And we already can press B. So B is the command here, fillet edge. And we can also give it a fillet. So something like that should work fine. And now just extrude this. So select face mode with three and extrude and press tab. So you go in both directions and delete this curve. And we have our yeah, base shape kind of. And now we want to create first, yeah, I would say this X here at the top. So very simple, create a line and just go from center point to center point and Alt X. So Alt X is the command for mirror and just bring it to the other side and press OK. And we have two of those X's or lines, press G, control click to the edge. So we are just at the top. And now just press O and we can offset them. And if you press tap, you will offset them to the other direction as well. And now create a line again, shift A and snap it here. And you see you can snap with, so it's parallel and just snap to this point. And now we just want to array them four times. So we don't have, so we don't have to create four lines manually. So select the curve and here you have radial array, just snap to the middle and select four and press okay. Beautiful. So why we did all this is because now we can trim a lot of stuff away. So press T for trim. So a lot of commands here, if you're an absolute beginner, I know it's a lot of different commands, but those commands you will use all the time, especially if you're a beginner, it's like so basic. So yeah, just try to learn them. So press T, the scissor, and now just go to all of those curves here, which we don't need. Also those in the middle here and just trim or cut them away. Beautiful, right click and now press two, alt click. So you select all of those curves and now press J. So you join them and you see now we have one curve and it's just better to work with. And now again, press B here, but we will give it a nice, very little chamfer as you see as well here. Now you can give a fillet as you wish. And B again, let's zoom in. So we can give here now a nice little fillet, right? Beautiful. And by the way, if you like this very slow step-by-step -step tutorials, just leave me a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss my other videos. And I will just see that you and other people like that. Perfect. Press three and select this blue face and now just drag that down and you see in the X-ray mode. So if you can't see through, just toggle um, here X-ray mode, uh, I mean this one, or Shift Z. But I want to give it a Boolean. So Q is always the shortcut for Boolean. So press Q and now you can just select this main 
by the end now you see it's blue but we want it red so blue is adding but we need the difference so press w and now it's red press ok beautiful and you can hide this curve and we have our first detail and for now it's okay and now first of all let's let's give everywhere some fillets at the edges so we can give you some cool details uh, just press alt and control click i think that should be for you and just give it a nice little fillet perfect and now so if we zoom in, in here we see we have this very tiny cut which is very thin and then we have this uh yeah decal uh, like this panel lines kind of right so let's do that and you see it's at the top and the bottom so go to the top view again and snap here to the middle and press shift because if you press shift you have a construction line because now you can always snap on the y-axis so just drag that out and give it here a nice angle and again alt x and bring it to the other side and select both those curves and join because now we have one curve and press b and give it here a nice little fillet and again alt x so we can bring it to the other side so alt x and bring it to the other side select them both and just press c so c is the command for cut and cut into our main body delete those curves here and you see we have those little pieces uh, separated and now let's just quickly create this hole here and then go to some more interesting details so very simple just create a curve and uh, I mean a rectangle and just snap it here and just go to the other side and make it very thin and oh yeah by the way this this image is from Eugene Sergienko as always you can uh, check out below this uh, video and cool so we have something like that but I don't want to cut it I want imprint because imprint will be enough so you can use this curve and if you search if you press f and you search for imprint i have it on shift one because i use it all the time and shift one is just super fast to use so just press right click assign shortcut press shift one so select the curve shift one or imprint and just click on the bod uh, body here and uh, wait before we do this just let's create another curve so again select the first one alt x and bring it to the other side select both of them shift one imprint and onto our main body delete those curves beautiful because now you can just select all of those face here perfect and once everything is selected just extrude this a little bit inwards and beautiful so we have just a little bit more detail and later when you give fillets it will just also look a little bit better Perfect, so now what I wanna do is, I want to create this interesting shape here. So you see it's going a little bit outwards and has a little bit of an angle, but in the middle we don't have this thing. So that's cool. And what you can do is, you could try, if you select this face with three in face mode, and if you offset that, you see this doesn't work. <laughs> But that's not a problem so we can try something so there's another command which is super helpful and important is um, so i it's called isoparam so i have it on control r so select the face control r or isoparam and just give and control r isoparam and snap it where this straight edge from this long x starts to go into the fillet right so we have this and here it starts to fill it but before it starts just create this line here the same here select this face Control r or isoparam and do the same here 
Because now if you select this face, you can just offset and you see you get exactly the same shape. So you could also, if you like, uh, with uh, lines to recreate the shape here, but sometimes, <laughs> okay, I messed that up, but, but sometimes it's just super fast when you take what you have already. So control R, uh, O for offset and just offset it a little bit. And now we need two more lines in the middle. So again, corner rectangle, snap, uh, snap to the middle, press C. And so it looks like a spaceship, like this B-52 bomber or something, which looks like this bird or so. Is it a B-52? But yeah, anyway, maybe you know what I mean. Oh no, I mean B2. It's, I don't know, it's, it's like 50, 60 years old or something, but I think in a thousand years, this thing will still look awesome. And I don't know, it's so cool. So yeah, we have this B2 bomber shape here. <laughs> and now we take this curve and again, imprint. So again, just bring this here to the top. So again, if you just imprint, I have it again on shift one and bam, if you just imprint and if you press here, height occlusion, because right now you see, we also have it at the bottom, but if you press height occlusion, you just have it at the top. Now we've breaking our B2 bomber, but that's cool because if we go back to our reference, we can select now this face and this face and extrude this a little bit. And with this white thing, give it here a little bit of an angle. And honestly, it, it exactly looks like this B2 bomber. I really like it just because of that fact. <laughs> yeah, perfect. So maybe let's just adjust it a little bit. So yeah, something like that. I really like that. And yeah, and now just very important. Oh man, it's so many different techniques, uh, uh, shortcuts that I'm showing you here. Just write them down, like literally you will always use them, especially in this sci-fi kind of stuff. And now again, super important, select this whole object because you see we have a lot of lines that we don't need. So to get rid of them, press F and delete redundant topology. Again, I have it on control D, but here, yeah, delete redundant topology, bam, you see now everything is clean and this is just important to keep everything clean. Perfect, so now let's give everywhere some nice fillets absolutely beautiful and one more here you can press beautiful you see that looks like a stamp from the inside that's cool awesome so select this whole thing and now first of all let's give here also fillets and now you also see we have everywhere those uh, rectangles and also in the reference image you see we also have those rectangles extruded to the inside so you will not be able because we filleted this face I think you can't yeah exactly so you can't just bring them this way inside so you have to select them one by one and even this doesn't work so you have to select them and press E for extrude and just make it one by one so you see we just give them a little bit of some details. So again, select them, press E and just do that everywhere. Perfect. And you see, you can give now also some micro fillets, but for me, it's fine for here. Perfect. So let's maybe just give here a little step just to give it a little bit of variation. So select those faces and just like that, you see just a tiny, tiny, tiny step here. And also let's give here some fillets at the top so yes you can also give them at the bottom but that's fine here for me that's fine and now let's just cut this thing away so very simple again rectangle from the top view and press c create here a little rectangle and give it a nice little fillet and just alt x or you don't have to, so press C and cut this piece away, press X, delete it, press X. And now let's just give here everywhere a nice tiny little fillets. 
And now delete this one here with object mode. So you can take this one, Alt X and bring it to the other side. And also this whole thing, Alt X and bring it to the other side, press QQ. So you see, we are getting very fast, really cool results. So let's create very quickly this shape here. Again, just rectangle around the middle, press C. So you go in all directions and press B. So yeah, very simple, just a chamfer and B again, just to add some fillets. And now again, select the face, extrude this inwards, press Q to Boolean into this body and press W. And now it's red and this is what we want. So again, we can give here some fillets and I just want some symmetry. So select this Alt X and bring it to the other side and QQ to Boolean this and union. So we have that. And yeah, guys, so just some details are left. So now it's your homework. Just for finish that and or try something to add on your own. And for those who want a complete solution into sci-fi modeling in plasticity with all of the most important techniques and workflows, I just launched my plasticity sci-fi course where you will learn how you can create this amazing sci-fi environment concept completely from scratch as an absolute beginner with the absolute most basic and fundamental modeling techniques. And we will go through the whole process. You also will learn how to, you can create your own sci-fi assets that you can reuse in all of your projects. So if that's something you're interested in, check out first link below this video. You will, you will find all of the information and I hope I can see you in there. Have a nice day. Bye.